Hello guys and welcome to my chapter review of chapter 261 of Tokyo Revengers. And the title for chapter 261 is called, Opposite Sides of the Same Coin. At the beginning of this chapter we see that Takemichi is still confronting Mikey. And Mitsuya, Hakai, and Taiju Shiba are all watching the confrontation. We also see that Mikey is staring at Takemichi, and as usual he has a blank look on his face. And then on the next page Mikey and Takemichi are staring at each other, and then Mikey started talking to Takemichi. Mikey asked Takemichi why he decided to come back to the past. And then Takemichi just responded by telling Mikey everything that happened in the future. Takemichi told Mikey that he promised Mikey's future self that he would save him. However when Mikey heard this he did not show any reaction. Takemichi tells Mikey that he got shot by Mikey's future self, and then Mikey tried to end it all by killing himself. But then Takemichi says that at the very end, the future version of Mikey reached out to him for help, and that was the very first time that he heard Mikey's true feelings. We also see that Taiju Shiba heard their conversation, and Taiju became very confused because he did not understand what Takemichi was saying. And we also see that Sanzu was able to get the motorcycle off of his legs, and Sanzu started to get back up, however he is still very injured. And Sanzu is also holding his katana in his right hand. And then Takemichi tells Mikey that he activated the trigger and went back to the past by shaking his hand. And Takemichi says that he came back to end this once and for all. And we see that when Mikey heard this, he did not say anything, and he just had a blank look on his face. In the next panel, we see that Sanzu started sneaking up behind Taiju Shiba, and Taiju started turning around to see who showed up behind him. But on the next page we see that Taiju was too late, because Sanzu was already right behind him. And then Sanzu attacked Taiju with his katana. Sanzu sliced Taiju from behind, and Sanzu sliced Taiju's back with his katana. And then Sanzu says that there is no way in hell that he would let Takemichi reach his goal. On the next page Taiju Shiba suddenly fell down to the ground, and he has a giant cut on his back. Takemichi yelled out Taiju's name when he saw what happened, and Takemichi became extremely worried for Taiju. And then Sanzu started yelling at Takemichi. Sanzu says, Hanagaki Takemichi, you call yourself a time leaper, and yet you don't even understand how important his destiny is. And then Sanzu says, Mikey's fate has been sealed ever since he was a little kid. He has no other path to walk down except the path of carnage and bloodshed. And while he says this Sanzu looks very upset, and he is also screaming at Takemichi. Anyway guys on the next page we see that Shuji Hanma has suddenly shown up behind Takemichi and Sanzu. And then Hanma starts talking to Takemichi. Hanma says, so you are the last one standing for Tomen right now. It seems like you are at the end of your line here. And while he is saying this Hanma has a smile on his face. We see that Takemichi has been cornered by Mikey, Sanzu, and Hanma. I really hope that Senju will show up to help Takemichi, because she is the strongest fighter who is left standing. We also see that Sanzu is standing on only one leg, and his left arm looks very beaten up, so I think that his right leg and left arm got injured by the motorcycle. Takemichi was very worried because he could not fight against three strong opponents at once, however suddenly a Toman member came running in to help him. And this person screams out, and they say that Takemichi is not alone. We see that Hanma turned around to see who was running towards him, and we see that it is actually Chifu Yu, and Chifu Yu is charging at Hanma, and he is also winding up a punch from his right fist. Takemichi and Hanma both turned around to look at Chifu Yu, and Takemichi was surprised when he saw his vice president. And Chifu Yu was still charging at Hanma, and he was also yelling at the same time. However Hanma was easily able to dodge the attack, and Hanma responded by punching Chifuyu with a punch from his left fist, and this punch hit Chifuyu directly in the face. And in the next page we see that this punch sent Chifuyu flying to the ground. We see that Chifuyu is very beaten up, and he is lying on the ground. And then Hanma says, hey there, Matsuno, I thought that I would put an end to you right here. And while he is saying this Hanma is smiling. We also see Mitsuya, and he is very worried about Chifu Yu, because Chifu Yu is already bruised and beaten up. However Chifu Yu was still able to get back up, and then he started talking to Takemichi. Chifu Yu says that he will never let Takemichi fight alone ever again. 
And then Shifuyu says that he regretted blaming everything on Takamichi after the death of Draken. Shifuyu says, you were fighting all alone, and I was just being pathetic. I am sorry, Takamichi. And while he is apologizing to Takamichi we see that Chifuyu is crying. And then, in the next page Chifuyu started screaming out, and Chifuyu said that he is the vice president of the Tokyo Manji Gang second generation. And then Chifuyu says that he will devote his life to his president. And while he is saying this Chifuyu has a big smile on his face. Anyway guys on the last page of this chapter, we see that Chifuyu went behind Takamichi so that they were standing back to back. And then Chifuyu says that Takamichi is his partner, and Chifuyu also tells Takamichi that he has his back. And while he is saying this Chifuyu has a very determined look on his face. And then Takamichi responded by saying, alright. And we also see that Takamichi started crying, but he was also smiling at the same time because he was really happy that Chifuyu has his back. There is also a note from the editor that says, bruised and beaten, Chifuyu stands tall. Toman fights back. Anyway guys in case you didn't know, this is the last chapter of this volume, and we still haven't gotten a volume cover of Sanzu yet. So because of this I think that we will see Sanzu's volume cover in the next volume. And when we see his volume cover I think that we will learn about his backstory, and we will also learn the truth about how he got the scars on his face. Sanzu also told Senju that what she did was merely a trigger so I think that will be explained during his backstory too. I am also very disappointed that Senju did not show up to help Takemichi in this chapter. Right now it looks like Chifuyu will fight Hanma, and Takemichi will fight Mikey, so because of this I think that Senju will be the one to fight against Sanzu. In their last fight, Senju was getting very beaten up, and she was not fighting back at all, because she was very sorry for blaming everything on Sanzu. And Senju thought that Sanzu getting the scars was all her fault, and that is the reason why she wasn't fighting back. However if Senju finds out that Sanzu killed Taiju and Kakucho, or if Senju finds out about Sanzu's plan to kill everyone, I think that she will definitely try to fight back this time. I say this because Senju is the type of person who does not want to see her friends get hurt, so this is why I think she will decide to fight back. And we also still really need to see a backstory of how Hanma joined the Kanto Manji gang, because the circumstances behind him joining are still very mysterious. In this panel where Hanma is standing behind Sanzu, it makes me think of the Reaper and the Clown. In this chapter we also learn that Sanzu knows a lot about time leaping, and I think that Hanma is the person who told Sanzu about everything. However I also think that there is a good chance that Sanzu is also a time leaper, because when Takamichi dodged his attack from behind, this is what made Sanzu think that Takamichi is a time leaper. So this means that Sanzu has gotten future visions before, or it means that Hanma told Sanzu about future visions and about time leaping. But I think it is more likely that Hanma is the true time leaper, and I think that Hanma is the one who told Sanzu about time leaping. I also think that Hanma is the person who pushed Takamichi off the tracks in the first timeline, which means that he is also the one who activated Takamichi's time leaping powers. The line where Sanzu says that Takamichi doesn't understand the importance of Mikey's destiny, and the line where Sanzu says that Mikey's fate has already been sealed ever since he was a little kid, and that Mikey has to walk down the path of bloodshed. All of these lines are very interesting pieces of dialogue. And I wonder what Sanzu means by this. I think that the answer to this mystery will be revealed during Sanzu's backstory. The reason I say this is because Sanzu said that Mikey's fate has been sealed ever since he was a kid. Which means that this mystery has something to do with the backstory of Mikey and Sanzu. So I am really looking forward to seeing this backstory and learning the truth about what Sanzu is talking about. Anyway guys that was it for my chapter review of chapter 261 of Tokyo Revengers. Also let me know what you guys think of the chapter in the comments below. And like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one and thank you for watching.